almost every single day, fellow coaches are sliding into the DMs wanting to know what app, what software I utilize as a coach in order to deliver individualized programming to clients in consideration of the coaching services that we offer. Now, the application that I use is an app called Trainerize. And you might have heard of it, I would imagine, if you're in the industry as a professional, at some point you've come across their name considering they are a pretty big name, one of the biggest names in the industry, and for good reason, which I'm going to cover in a moment. But in this video, I don't want to touch base necessarily on what app that I use, mostly because I kind of just told you exactly what it is. It's right here, it's Trainerize, if that's what you came for, the video's over. In fact, you likely read it in the title, and. I guess we're done here. But what I want to touch base on is the five reasons why I use Trainerize. Now understand this is not an exhaustive list. I don't think I have enough breath to cover in one video, and you might not have the time to listen in one sitting to the exhaustive list of features that Trainerize offers. Further, I'm not even entirely sure I know them all. And I've been in many of the beta test groups for varying features that have been rolled out over time and some that are coming just around the corner. Further, as a coach, I don't maximize all of the features that Trainerize offers. Not because I dislike them, but because they offer so many that I can't even keep up with all the incredible features that I could utilize to improve scale, grow my business, increase my reach, and develop even better service systems and offerings for the clients that we work with internationally. Understanding that, I do plan to use a lot of those things, but my goodness, they are on the ball when it comes to getting these features out and ensuring that they're actually listening to us, the consumer being the coaches in this case, and what would work best for us or what we think might work best for us in order to better service the clients that we work with on a regular basis. Now that's actually one of the reasons why I use Trainerize. And this, these five points are in no particular order. Building off of that intro, their team is forward thinking. Yes, at times their team is overwhelmed, swamped, as is often the case with a growing business but their team is forward thinking and they listen. Fellow coaches that I know personally who have used other applications often complain about the fact that the apps stagnate. I've worked with Trainerize probably close to six years now, maybe more, five years, somewhere around that mark. And the entire time I've been consistently impressed with the reality that they're constantly working on the next step, trying to stay ahead of the curve, trying to offer more so that we the coaches can do more, can offer more ourselves to the clients that we work with. I love the fact that they're constantly coming up with ideas and sure, sometimes ideas that I would prefer get put on the side burner because more people want a different idea. But I love the fact that they're constantly thinking, constantly growing and listening to our feedback in particular in order to roll these updates and new features out. In fact, there's some just in the pipeline right now that I've been waiting for for so long, it feels like, and I can't wait to actually deploy them as it's going to level up the quality of service that I'm able to offer. And it's also going to bring new services to the front line that I'm able to offer as a professional. Another thing that I love about Trainerize is related to programming from the coaching standpoint. Understand that for us, the level of individualization that we offer in consideration of our programming is one of the things that allows us to differentiate ourselves in a crowded market, in a saturated pool. The level of individualization and specificity we offer is something that appeals to a lot of clients, but not every app allows you to get hyper-specific with what you would like a client to do, whereas Trainerize does. It allows us to be as specific as we might desire when it comes to creating the programs that we want our clients 
to execute relative to their individual aims because for us, results is what we're going to deliver. That's what clients come to us for. They come to us to achieve a desirable outcome. And in order to ensure that we can deliver on that, we have to make sure that all of the contributing factors are as specific to that individual as we can possibly make them in consideration of the tech that we have at our disposal and of course our knowledge base. Well, the tech is covered by Trainerize because they allow us to get as specific as we desire. And further, when it comes to the design of the program, not them designing the program in consideration of the workout regimen, but the ability to piece together the program in the software, it is so simple. It's efficient, it's effective, and it allows us to spend less time trying to piece together workout programs on an otherwise clunky platform as so many of my peers use. It's streamlined, it's smooth, it's efficient. A little bit of a learning curve once you get used to it, and I mean a little learning curve, it's not difficult. Once you get used to designing the programs on the app, you become a wizard at it, and it allows us to push those programs out to clients efficiently, effectively, as I just mentioned, and spend more time being a coach and less time trying to do data entry or basic what would be compared to administrative work on a daily basis. We get to dial in on handling whatever is required from a coaching standpoint in that client relationship, and that only adds to our individual ability to deliver on said results for those clients. Now, a big one for me, and I guess if I was going to put this in any order, right now this would probably be top of the list only because I've been so excited and waiting for it for so long in two ways, habit tracking. They already have habit tracking, which is incredible. So basically, this allows me to put a trigger on an individual's calendar and say, hey Susie, make sure you drink eight glasses of water today, which is great. That ensures that even in the hours I'm not with that client, there is some degree of accountability, which any coach knows is critical to long-term success. So you can be very specific. Look at that specificity again, love it. You can be very specific with the client and work on their individual habits that they need to improve their lifestyle. You can be generic, of course, if you'd like, basic habits that maybe everybody could improve upon, but you could dial it down and pick whatever habits you might need. And further, what they're just about to roll out, probably around the same time this video is getting uploaded, is master habits, which allows you to build out regular habits that you might use as a coach with your clients in consideration of your coaching strategies in order to bring those across to multiple clients without having to recreate the individual habit on a per person basis. You can build a master habit with the instructional videos that are going to go along with it so that you can ensure that there's a consistent delivery of quality understanding and relative knowledge with said habit so that whatever client might be consuming that information from you is getting a repeatable service across the board. That to me is incredible. Habit tracking has been out and it's been a game changer. It has helped so many clients achieve results at a faster rate than they otherwise would have been able to had we been pushing and pulling back and forth. It's turned what is often a wrestling match especially in consideration of communicating these habits into more of a dance. And that to me is a game changer. And the fact that they're going to have the master habits available, love it. I can't contain my excitement on this one. I've been waiting for so long and it's finally here. Now, another thing I very much like is the communication aspect of the app. Now, there's multiple ways to communicate on the app put videos in the app, on the calendars, in the chats. You can utilize photos. You can, of course, just type via text. All of that is capable via the app. But what I like specifically, personally as a coach, obviously everyone's different, is the fact that I can also comment and the client can comment and give feedback on specific workouts. So for example, if they're doing a workout and they provided an 8 out of 10 rating in consideration of intensity. Also cool with communication, they allow clients to rate the intensity of their workouts so you can kind of get that direct feedback on a regular basis. But say a client mentions in the notes, hey, this was really bothering me today. I was feeling discomfort here. Right away that's showing up on your hub so you can go right to that specific workout and kind of assess the situation and chat back and forth on that particular workout. Further, you can chat in the chat box itself should you desire. I do use that depending on the client themselves. 
and they also have a group chat option. Now, I personally don't avail myself of the group chat option because I use the group chat in other ways on other platforms, but the group chat option is there and it is a useful tool for a lot of coaches. It's just not something that I personally use on the app, but the efficient, effective communication that's available via the single chat option with clients, love, very useful. And the fact that on a workout to workout basis in an individual's calendar, you can go back and forth with minor details that, that I really like as well. Now, the final big win for me as a coach is going to be ease of use. And this is client facing. This is incredibly valuable as an individual, as a coach, who works with a wide demographic of clients, ranging in age from 18 years old all the way through to my current client on the older end being 84. Every single client is capable of using this app. In fact, when I first started using the app, the client-facing interface was, or the client-facing interface, sorry, was a little bit clunkier than it is now. They've streamlined it to a much greater degree. And I applaud them for their efforts on that because they've done an incredible job. But I used to explain to clients exactly how the app was going to work. It is so streamlined now that, and clients that have recently signed up with me within the last year can confirm, I actually tell people, I'm not going to explain to you how to utilize the app because it's so easy that you'll get 99% of it right immediately. You'll be able to figure it out regardless of how tech savvy you are. Assuming you can download the app onto your phone with no trouble, if a client can get past that point, they will be fine. If they can't, well, that's likely a level of tech savviness that is going to prove to be a bit of a hurdle to you, the entire relationship you might have utilizing software like this. But assuming they can get it onto their device with no issues, the interface is incredibly simple for them to use. And I rarely have any issues whatsoever with clients being able to navigate the interface. The only issue I ever have is whether or not they track their workouts specifically as I would like them to. And that has nothing to do with the app whatsoever, only to do with the client understanding what I would like feedback wise as a coach. That being said, this is so valuable because I don't wanna spend time as a coach troubleshooting the use of technology. I want the clients being able to jump right into training, get right to the gym or right to their basement or garage or wherever they happen to be working out. I want them to be able to get right into the swing of things, not stressing about the fact that they can't download the app or that it's clunky and it keeps shutting down or that you know they don't understand how to use it and they're overwhelmed and they don't know where to go to navigate to find their workouts. And, I don't wanna to have to deal with that stuff. That's a hurdle that doesn't improve the experience for them. If anything, it's a detriment to the experience. It takes away from the experience and makes it more stressful for them. And further, it's not going to contribute to their results. If anything, it's likely going to take away from the quality of their results. But when the ease of use is present, then we get right into what matters most. We get right to the training, we get right to the coaching, and we don't have to stress or worry about anything in this arena whatsoever. That is priceless to me. So these are five of the reasons why not only do I use Trainerize, but why I love this app. Forward-thinking team, easy for me to design programs as a coach who isn't incredibly tech savvy. It allows for a high degree of specificity, which I love, habit tracking, Game changer, communication is efficient, it's effective, and the ease of use for the client is obvious, considering how few issues I have coming back my way. If you're considering an application that's going to improve the service quality of your business, especially in this virtual setting in the current landscape of the training industry right now, this has two thumbs up from me, five gold stars. If you found this video to be useful in any way, make sure you follow or subscribe, depending of course on what social media platform you might be seeing this on. And as per usual, if you happen to have any specific questions whatsoever, whether they're related to business, lifestyle, training, or something completely off topic, send them my way, and if I'm able to, I'll cover them in an upcoming post.